dear listener welcome to my channel topic of this video is evaluation of information retrieval system and sub topic is evaluation of rank retrieval so for rank retrieval variety types of matrix are used so whatever mention the matrix in black color i have already covered in my first part of the video now in this second part i am going to cover matrix which is indicated in blue color now let us start two types of evaluation are there for document retrieval unrank retrieval and rank retrieval rank retrieval evaluating how effectively a system ranks relevant documents higher than less relevant ones typically used matrix are average precision mean average precision interpolated precision 11 point interpolated average precision sensitivity specificity roc curve normalized discounted cumulative gain and cumulative gain it focuses on the relevance prioritization now we'll start with the metric sensitivity and specificity sensitivity is nothing but recall it refers to the probability of positive test condition on truly being positive specificity refers to the probability of negative test condition on being truly negative now this is a confusion matrix so for precision and recall we already learn this confusion matrix in detail now this tp tn fp fn they are nothing but the related with the actual class and predicted class now sensitivity is nothing but tp divided by tp plus fn that is nothing but the recall and specificity is nothing but tn divided by tn plus fp we generally never used accuracy in information retrieval now we'll start with the next sensitivity is nothing but number of true positive divided by number of true positive plus number of false positive that is nothing but tp divided by tp plus fn and specificity is nothing but tn divided by fp plus tn now what sensitivity and what specificity does it measures the proportion of relevant documents the system correctly retrieves it reflects the system ability to not miss relevant information high sensitivity indicates system effectively catches most relevant documents specificity it measures the proportion of irrelevant documents that system correctly rejects it reflects the system ability not to retrieve irrelevant information high specificity ensures that retrieved documents are most relevant reducing the noise and providing the focused search experience there is a trade off between sensitivity and specificity because when we want to increase the sensitivity that to retrieve all the relevant documents that present in the collection so in that case some irrelevant document also pop up and when we are focus on specificity and we are not accepting the irrelevant document in the retriever so at that time some of the relevant documents may miss so there is a trade off between sensitivity and specificity increasing sensitivity may lead to the lowering specificity meaning more irrelevant documents might be retrieved alongside the relevant ones just i have explained and increasing the specificity may lead to lowering the sensitivity causing the system to miss some relevant documents roc receiver operating characteristics so this is very famous metric for the binary classification it is a map that help us to navigate the decision making process in information retrieval it shows a trade off between the true positive rate and false positive rate true positive rate is nothing but the fraction of relevant documents we correctly retrieve and fpr is nothing but the fraction of irrelevant documents that we wrongly retrieve x axis shows the fpr and y axis shows the tpr a perfect system would be at the top left corner where it catches all the relevant documents without any false positive a random guesser would be the diagonal line where its right and wrong decisions are equally likely i will explain with the diagram also the distance from the diagonal represents the system effectiveness the further system curves is to be top left corner the better it is distinguishing the relevant and irrelevant documents but it again depends on the application's nature whether we want more sensitivity or we want more specificity for example this is the roc curve and this is nothing but the sensitivity that is nothing but tpr and this is nothing but the one minus specificity is fpr so this is the formula for sensitivity that is recall tp divided by tp plus mn and this is nothing but fpr one minus specificity 
Now when this diagonal line indicates that is nothing but the success, 50% success of the system and when we are getting such type of curve which is close to one or which covers maximum area at that time our system is more successful and in this case we want uh, the sensitivity is higher for example for our system if our parameter is tuned to get maximum sensitivity or high sensitivity we should get like this and if our algorithm if our particular algorithm which focuses or we tune the parameters to the more specificity so our cover will come like this so it's all depend our application nature visual comparison it allows us to easily compare different IR system that see which one strike the best balance between the true and false positive for example if one of the application uh, if we want to compare the two application and in which the focus is on high sensitivity so the application which touches maximum or which covers maximum area under the curve will have a higher success rate so for example if one application is like this and if one application is like this then this is the more successful in terms of sensitivity it can be used for different search, uh, search tasks and priorities for example a medical diagnosis system might prefer a curve closer to the top left corner like this while a spam filter might priorities a curve closer to the bottom right corner so it's all depend upon the nature of the application cumulative gain and normalized discounted cumulative gain CG and NDCG are popular metrics for evaluating the ranking performance of IR system they measure how well a system order relevant documents in its result list, considering both relevance and rank position. CG simply sums the relevance score of the individual documents in the rank list. Higher relevance score for documents appearing earlier in the list contribute to the more overall CG. So this will explain or this is very easy to understand with the example. Limitation of CG. CG don't take into account the diminishing value of relevance as documents appear further down the list. For example, search engine retries the five documents for a given query. The relevance order on a scale of 0 to 3 as below. 0 is for not relevant, 1 to is somewhat relevant and 3 is completely relevant. Now we retry the five documents and their relevance score is as below. We simply take the summation that is nothing but that is cumulative gain and the value is 6. So cumulative gain is the sum of this relevance score and can be calculated as. So when our cumulative gain is more at that time we can make the conclusion that more relevant documents are retired. But it is not true major because it is not taking the consideration in the priority because we are just simply adding the scores of each document which is further enhanced by the normalized discounted cumulative gain. Normalized discounted cumulative gain is a measure of ranking quality. ML teams often use NDCG to evaluate the performance of a search engine recommendation or any other information retrieval system. It addresses the limitation of CG that is cumulative gain by applying a discount factor to the relevance score. Document appearing further down the list are penalized and reflecting the diminishing value of their relevance. It normalizes CG by dividing by the ideal DCG which is a CG achieved by the perfect ranking. This normalization allows for fair comparison across different systems and query set. Advantage NDCG rewards system that place relevant documents higher in the ranking. So whatever these points will be easily understood with the example. Now we are going for NDCG. So first we require to calculate the discounted cumulative gain. So this is the formula for discounted cumulative gain. I have mentioned 1 to 5 but this is actually 1 to n documents. Now relevance score divided by log to i plus 1. Now here we are not ordering the documents according to their relevance score. So whatever as it is they appear in the retriever we are taking that order. So d1 first appear, d2 first appear, then d3, d4 and d5 appear. So we just put the relevance score divided by log to i plus 1. So for the first document it becomes 2 then next 3 so this is simplest procedure and if you solve the problem in tabular formats it's very easy to calculate now we do the summation and the summation is 4.67 next we are 
dividing this DCG by IDCG that is ideal discounted cumulative gain now this is arranging the documents in the uh, ascending order of their relevant score to arrange the documents in descending order by their ranking uh, now here we arrange first D1 then D2 D5 D3 D4 in the descending not ascending in the descending order of their relevant score and we apply the same formula here only the change is there here the sets are in the descending order of their relevant score so we get the IDCG and after that we take DCG divided by IDCG which is equal to 0.98 so what is the indication of the value of a uh, <coughs> NDCG it is between 0 to 1 but when value between 0 0.6 to 0 0.8 it is good score demonstrating a relatively effective ranking system but when the score is between 0 0.8 to 1.0 it is exceptional and reflecting the highly effective ranking system now we will see the next example ranking documents so to on 0 to 3 relevance scale are as given below since 10 documents are there to calculate CG is very easy we just require to add the relevant score now to calculate DCG we are using that formula that is in the numerator relevant score divided by log 2 for the first document it become 2 for the third it is 3 in this way we are calculating and after that we are making the summation which is nothing but 8.32 then we require to calculate the IDCG for ideal DCG we are arranging the documents in the descending order of their relevant score and so and based on that we calculate and that value comes as a 9.07 so 8.32 divided by 9.07 is 0.92 again it shows that it is a highly effective system so in this way we can calculate the CG and NDCG so these are the references material used for the presentation and this is all about the rank retrieval or evaluation of rank retrieval and different metrics which is used for ranking of the uh, evaluation of the ranking of the documents thank you